Here's a wild fact most people don't know. About 50% of men with diabetes have low testosterone. And at the same time, about 50% of women with diabetes have high testosterone. Wait, what? Same disease, opposite directions. Not the right direction, right? Why is that? And more importantly, what does it mean for your health, your energy, your sex drive, your fertility, and even your risk for heart disease? So stick with me because in this video, we will break it down and we will get it done. We'll get it right. We'll talk about the signs of testosterone in men and women. We're going to talk about why diabetes messes it up in totally opposite ways. We'll talk about the real life consequences of abnormal testosterone levels. And I will talk about finally what you can actually do about it. And don't worry, I'll keep it fun, simple, and real. All right, let's go. Let's start with the paradox men versus women. In men with type 2 diabetes, about half end up with low testosterone, what we call hypogonadism. In women, with type 2 diabetes, about half actually swing the other way, they get too much testosterone, often resembling PCOS-like hormone patterns. So the same disease is pushing men and women in opposite hormonal directions. And this isn't just a lab test thing, okay? This has big, big consequences. So why men lose testosterone? Here's what's happening in men. Insulin resistance and excess belly fat raise estrogen levels, which is a female hormone. Now, high insulin also damages the hypothalamus pituitary testicular axis because you have hypothalamus up you know, in your brain, then pituitary right below your brain, and then testicle. They all talk to each other. Basically, again, we call this in simple terms, brain the testicle signal that tells the body to make testosterone. Now, inflammation and poor sleep from diabetes doesn't help either. What's the result? Well, testosterone production drops. Men feel it, like low energy, low libido, erectile dysfunction, more fat around the belly, weaker muscles, even higher risk of heart disease. Low T isn't just about sex drive, it is about survival. Now, why women get too much testosterone, right? Men gets very little, but the woman gets too much with the same problem. In women with diabetes or insulin resistance, it is actually quite opposite because high insulin stimulates ovaries to pump out more testosterone. Insulin also lowers SHBG, which is sex hormone binding globulin, that is the protein that normally binds testosterone. So more free testosterone is going to be floating around because of that. Now, add in the inflammation and the hormonal scales will tip towards that androgen access, which is high testosterone or high DHEAS. The result is going to be acne, hair loss on the scalp, right? Hair growth in places you don't want as a woman, irregular cycles and fertility struggles. In the long term, it raises the risk for PCOS-related complications, such as heart attacks and strokes. Now, what are the consequences of this abnormal testosterone, both men and women? Here's why you should care, even beyond the obvious symptoms. So for men, low T means muscle loss, bone loss, depression, poor recovery, more belly fat, and increased risk of cardiovascular disease. For women, high T worsens insulin resistance, raises the risk of type 2 diabetes or diabetes complications, and drives metabolic syndrome and can mess with reproductive health. So testosterone isn't just a sex hormone, okay? It is a metabolic hormone. Get it wrong, your whole system suffers. So why does it happen in diabetes? Why does diabetes mess up testosterone so badly? Well, it comes down to insulin resistance, meaning more fat, more inflammation, more hormone disruption, to make it super simple. Now, blood sugar spikes also damage the delicate hormone signaling systems. And then there is mitochondrial dysfunction because hormones require healthy energy factories to work, right? Mitochondria is your energy factory. And remember, hormones are finely tuned. Even small disruptions in blood sugar can push the system into chaos. That's why controlling sugars, keeping post-meal numbers below 140, 160, instead of letting them go over like 180, 200 milligrams per deciliter, 
is not just about preventing complications, it is also about your hormone health. So what can you do, right? What is the plan? Well, let's fix the blood sugar swings. That is the foundation, right? Consistent glucose control improves your testosterone balance in both men and women. And we're going to talk about, we're going to use lifestyle as a medicine. Why? Because exercise will boost testosterone in men and lowers excess testosterone in women. Weight loss, especially belly fat, right? If you do that, it's going to restore the hormone balance. And sleep, seven to eight hours, is a natural testosterone booster. And we have nutrition and functional medicine support, such as vitamin D. If you're deficient, especially if you're below 50, 60, definitely add some vitamin D. Zinc, around maybe 20, 30 milligram a day. Magnesium, especially magnesium glycinate, up to 400 milligram a day, but you can start with the 100. These all support testosterone production in men. Antioxidants will lower the inflammation. It's going to improve insulin sensitivity. Omega-3s will help with the hormone signaling as well, which are commonly found in fish or nuts such as walnuts or chia seeds, etc. And stress management. Why? Because cortisol and testosterone are like a seesaw. The more stress, the worse your hormones. And for those with stubborn issues, sometimes medical therapies like testosterone replacement in men or, you know, metformin, spironolactone type of combination in women, sometimes it's needed. But lifestyle always comes first. Men and women with diabetes both struggle with testosterone, but in completely opposite directions. Men get too little, women get too much. And both are dangerous, but both are fixable. If you tackle blood sugar, insulin resistance, and lifestyle head on, you can do it. So now you know 50% of diabetic men have low testosterone and 50% of diabetic women have high testosterone. That's not a coincidence, right? That is insulin resistance reshaping your hormones. Keep your blood sugar steady. Fix the root cause. And your hormones can rebalance itself. Now, let me know in the comments here, do you want me to do a follow-up video on how to naturally boost testosterone in men? I actually did one in the past. So if you search sugar MD and how to boost testosterone in men, you will probably find that video, but I can make another one. Why not? And we can make a video on how to lower testosterone in women. Let me know. Do you want it? I need a hand count here. Whichever gets more votes, I will do it. I'll tackle that next. And if you found this eye-opening, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and share button maybe, right? Because the truth is, you want people to know that the hormones are the missing piece of the diabetes puzzle that nobody's talking about. Well, talk to you later.